Hey guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to make this beautiful pipe assembly in fusion 360 so this will be a video will again focus on your developing the beginner skill in fusion 360 uh, this is going to be our practice size practice exercise number 26 I guess so hope you guys will enjoy the video again all the dimension has been assumed this is just for practice exercise and just to show you the tips and tricks or how to make these structures so let's get started and one one more thing that uh, if any of you wondering what is the appearance that I'm using here uh, basically uh, I am using the mirror finish if I just press a and you can just go to uh, appearance you can see that I am using uh, the mirror polish here the mirror one this one is I am using here so you can guys to check it out so let's get started go to new design switch to create a sketch and on the front plane press L for line and draw from origin draw a line like this and another one like this now press d for dimension make this as 250 mm this is going to be 100 mm and the angle between these two is going to be 100 as well now go to fillet and make a radius of 50 here so we have a sketch here and finish the sketch now again click on create a sketch on the front plane draw another structure but on this side all like press D for dimension from this point to this point give this line a dimension of 170 this line is going to be 120 the angle between these two is going to be 120 as well and the fillet is going to be R100 once done finish the sketch go to create go to pipe select the first sketch and select the diameter as 75 this is going to be our new component and press ok right click drag upwards to repeat the command select this time this one the section side would be 75 the operation would be join and press ok now press a for appearance and give this a uh, any finish you want i will go with the mirror one so here's the mirror one uh, this is my, uh, my personal favorite now go to shell select this face this face and the bottom face and make a internal thickness of 5 mm something is wrong I don't know why it's the five angle is not taking I think I have uh, done something wrong let me just check here what I'm doing wrong here okay okay so what what I was doing wrong here basically I need to give the fillet here before making the shell here so for that just move back your timeline before the shell now we are again at the pipe joint and click on fillet and select this line and give a radius of 5 here now bring back the timeline to the shell now right click on the shell edit feature and make it 5 and press ok this time it will take it this pro, uh, I forget to make the radius here now again go to create a sketch on the bottom plane start by making a circle okay just offset the outermost circle up to a distance of 10 mm then again another uh, again offset this circle okay uh, i am going to offset this one as 20 mm like this just make the inner one the center one as the construction mode press c for circle and on the circumference draw a circle of diet 10 mm okay let's make it 8 and go to create go to circular pattern select this and the center point as this one and make the 5 as pattern and finish the sketch now once done click on extrude and extrude this profile upwards up to a distance of minus 15 up to a distance of minus 10 the operation would be join and okay 
now go to modify go to chamfer select on these edges of the circle here and make a chamfer of 5 and press ok now once done click on create a sketch on this face ok let me just finish the sketch uh, on this face we start by making a circle of 100 dia and another one on top of it exactly so draw a vertical line like this press C for circle and make a 40 mm circle here press D for dimension from this point to this point make it 60 now click on line and select and make a line from this point to this point and from this point to this point now make it tangent with both of these circles like this now once done press L again and make one horizontal line make this circle and these two line mirror to the center line here now press C for circle and draw another circle of diameter 10 mm here and diameter 10 mm here and finish the sketch now once done click on extrude and leave the circle uh, the smaller circle that we have just drawn and select all these profiles you can then also trim that but uh, it is uh, ne not necessary and move it backwards up to a distance of minus 10 and the operation would be joined and press ok now again go to modify go to chamfer select these two edges and make a chamfer of 5 mm like this and press ok press fillet and make a fillet of 5 here like this now repeat the same step for this one also go to create go to here press c for circle and from bottom draw a circle of 100 press l for line draw one vertical line and press again draw one horizontal line draw one horizontal line like this press c for circle and make a 40 mm circle the dimension from this point to this point is going to be 60 mm press L for line and make line from here to here and make it tangent with the circle once turn select on these two lines and mirror it uh, across this line uh, one thing that uh, the, that one was uh, vertical orientation of that one flange was orientation uh, vertical one but this is time this I'm going to make this, this horizontal because if I just make it vertical one the bolting is not possible due to this structure here so just uh, click on normal two. once your sketch is complete press C for circle again and make a circle of 10 mm here press C again and make a 10 here and finish the sketch now click on extrude just like we did earlier this is the same exact step leave the hole the center one and this one and the dimension again would be minus 10 the object would be joined and press ok ok I, uh, I left out one profile here select on this one also and ok now press F for fillet 5 mm fillet go to modify go to chamfer select this edge and this edge 5 mm chamfer here and press ok now go to modify go to chamfer select this edge this edge this one this one and the bottom one and make a chamfer of 3 mm like this so this completes our exercise on fusion 360 so hope you guys will enjoy the video please uh, don't forget to uh, comment any queries that you have and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day